Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you um, one of our projects that we need to get completed ASAP um, so that you understand why we have this push for funding going on right now, especially with the match donations. So I'm walking on our driveway. I'm going to flip the phone so you can see. So this is, any of you have been here, this is the driveway that connects our property to the road. And as you can see, there is a gate going up here. That's because this piece of land that I'm walking on is owned by the neighbor next door to us. Um, and she is putting up this gate. Our access drive has always been off this driveway since we purchased the property. Um, and... We are now going to have to put, because the easement is actually here, right in this spot, we need to clear this area and put a driveway in right here. So this is where it connects to our main road, which is Brocksmith Road, and we need to clear through here and put a path. Um, just like this driveway is going that way, that'll be hers and ours needs to go through here. So I came to measure out, um, with the long tape measure. So hang on a second. Let me get back over that way. Okay. So I came back down the driveway a little bit. You can see my tape measure here. So I was measuring up from our gate all the way up this row. Um, if you look in here, okay, there's the gate and the main access to the road. There's the gate going up and the main access. So now if we look over here, this is our front fencing. So it basically goes straight across the property on the front of the property running north and south. And from here, this way, all the way out there, the animals do not have access to that whatever two, three acre area that we left open to develop for like parking or, or parking lot or whatever we're gonna have putting in there. So what I'm gonna have to do is you see there's this ditch here and then it goes up high. Well, that high area, we're gonna have to run a bull panel fence just like this on, on that side of the area straight down from here all the way down and according to my handy dandy tape measure here, I ended at 15 feet. So this run all the way down is 585 feet. Okay, so this is a stretch of 585 feet. The bull panels are 16 feet long each. So 585 feet divided by 16 feet is 37 or 36 point something bull panels. So we do 37. We need to make sure we have a few extra in case I mismeasured. So we'll say 40 bull panels at $35.99 each, which is usually the cheapest price. And that's at Tractor Supply. That is $1,440 or $1,439 and change. So just for the bull panel, we're looking at $1,500. Um, and then each one of these green stakes are about $5 each. I don't know if you guys can see those. So we need two stakes per panel. So that's another $10 per panel, which, um, how many panels did I say? 40 panels. So 40 times 10, that's another 400 bucks. Um, so we're looking at an $1,800 project. So right around $2,000 is what we need to complete this. And that is before labor. Now I'm going to walk down here and so I can show you guys, um, inside. I know you guys have seen in the feed area, but I'm just going to show you how the fencing is down there. Cause we're going to be duplicating, duplicating that the rest of the way up. And that way it'll give you guys a good idea. But basically where you can see in here, there's a gate there we're gonna have to take down um there's an opening so we'll where that clear path is through there on the other side of these trees we need a fence on the far side so that way the animals are behind that fence and if you're driving in here they're not in front of the road so i'm going to show you how that is the rest of the way down um the property that we already did it um but this is why we are it's these kind of projects that this is an emergency project because 
she has this gate going up and she's going to close and lock this gate and that is going to lock us in or out of our property um, which will be a major problem um, and this is why we've been so hard pushing for funds so I'm hoping you guys will help with this project this is why we have the reveal donation game going because it's not just this we have a lot of other things like all these pepper trees need to be pulled out uh, this fencing was questionable to begin with um, lots of things so uh, let me get walk down here and I'll show you guys this other portion. I'm still on my way walking down the driveway and I thought I'd show you guys this. This got knocked down in the hurricane. So obviously these trees are going to need to be cleared off. Um, that's probably going to be the driving path there. I don't know because I'm on the wrong side. So we probably have some more than a couple trees that need to be taken out to make this path. It's going to require big equipment. Um, we have a backhoe coming in that we rented through a friend indefinitely and we've already spent that $2,500. Um, so again, guys, these are the, you know, the cost adds up real quick when you start a project like this. This is a really good spot. Um, again, another tree down will have to be removed, but you can see um, there is another old gate over there going through. Um, but you can see how high it is over there as opposed to here down the, through the ditch. So that will be basically the drive. And the animals will be on the other side of that hill. We'll put the fencing about here. And so they'll be on that side. Okay, so continuing our walk down the driveway, I want you guys to see... This is where our entrance has been. Um, so that is where it goes straight. And we've had more than one issue as that is an Airbnb. And the people are always over here with their hands through the fence. Um, so you can see we have many signs up. Um, this is where the animals live. And... Um, so we, we had our, how to put our signs up. Um, okay. So again, this gate was here. Um, there was another gate like this here that was dilapidated. So we did put this gate on, but this entrance was here when we purchased the property. Um, it was the only entrance this way to the house. So this is what we're trying to accomplish in that eastern zone that I just showed you. So you can see we have a nice bull panel fence here that keeps the animals on that side of the driveway. And then we have the perimeter fence, you know, to keep out people or whatever. Um, and the dogs do run in this area and whatnot. But when you're driving in or people are coming to visit, um, there is no chance that the pigs or the cows can get, can get on this side of the fence and be in front of the car, which was a major issue before we did this. Um, so this is what we're gonna do, is we'll take this panel down and we are gonna have to take out some trees there and we'll put a fence going right around here and around and you'll drive through here and we'll make the drive come and continue through this gate will come down and it will continue all the way down this way so I have to figure out if we're gonna need another gate if we're gonna have to purchase another gate for the front so that'd be another $300 um, I think with this gate here and the one that we can take off of the entrance that we should be covered but because yeah, we have two, so we should be good because we're going to need to put two up front just to prevent any animals from running out an open gate when we're driving out of that front area. So we'll have a little bit of a buffer zone um, somewhere up there. So I know this is a really long video, but I really wanted to take the opportunity to explain to you guys what was going on and why there has been such a push for funding lately. I'm trying to do things that are exciting for you guys. Um, we hardly ever do things that cost a lot in labor because I usually do that stuff myself or with volunteers. Um, so I really appreciate the help from you guys. Really, really, this is kind of an 
extenuating circumstance. Um, we didn't believe that this gate was going to go up the way that it has. And, um, honestly, I was driving out one day and there was just a gate there. She didn't even come talk to me or anything. So now we're just trying to make it so that we have access to the property and we can get in and out to get our load of feed and, and everything that we need for the animals. So, um, please guys check out the donation reveal. I have a really cool animal here that I really want to show you guys. We haven't done that yet. Um, so we really need some help with funding for this project and I hope you guys will consider a donation. Donations can be made at our website, eco-is.org. Thanks guys.